Hello. Welcome to Card Minds. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be a different reading. I'm attempting to do something a little different, so let me know if you enjoy it, if you connect with it, if you're interested, and you would like more. This is going to be a spiritual guidance, spiritual message reading. Let's see what energies we have. I'm going to say it's for the month of August, but really, whenever you feel you connect with it, even if you come back to it in a few months, weeks, days, that means these messages are for you. Scorpio. I'm starting with Scorpio. I always attempt new readings with Scorpio as I connect with the sign spiritual messages for Scorpio. Let's begin. Justice. Finding your truth, Scorpio. Finding your truth. The lovers. Three of Wands. Three of Cups. Five of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. Beautiful. Just straighten this out a little bit. Let's see what messages we have. Scorpio, for this month of August 2022, or whenever you stumble upon this reading and feel you connect with these energies, this is for you. Justice, finding your truth, finding your way, finding your balance. It's about fairness. Um, it's really about the law of cause and effect. What you've put out there, Scorpio, and you have put so much out there today in the now, that is what you want. You want guidance to fairness, if that makes sense. You want fair to you and you, your connections to the outside world, your connections to the universe, you want them on a fair ground. You're not proving anything anymore. You do not have anything else to prove. You are who you are. And you're fair with yourself. You're honest with yourself. So that gives you that equal give and take to put yourself out there and put that reflection, um, your trueness, your, your core beliefs, your core values, yourself. You are you, Scorpio, and honest with yourself. So being honest with yourself and putting yourself out there in a very truthful way is going to bring back beautiful, beautiful energies. That is what you put out there. And right after that, we have the lovers, which is really connected. The next step, because you have aligned yourself with who you really are, but this is after a deep, deep soul search, right? We don't have the hermit. We probably would have had the hermit in a preceding or in preceding readings. I'm going to say that in plural because Scorpio has had such a um, difficult, complicated, complex journey in the past couple of months, years um, to realign themselves or realign ourselves, I say we as a collective, to who we really are, what makes sense to us and find, anchor ourselves back into what we call our reality, what makes sense to us. And the lovers is about aligning yourself with you, who you truly are, truly are. So maybe you lost yourself along the way doesn't have to be, but it's just maybe before the world situation because this real, real journey has the thick of it has been through the world situation, right? Probably started a bit before, maybe a year before or maybe a few months before, but the thick of it was a, uh, finding, figuring, figuring ourselves out, our energies, who we are, what we stand for, 
where we stand in this world and what we're going to make of ourselves. What are we creating? What do we want to do? What is our purpose in this universe, right? That was the whole soul search, career search, mind search, life purpose. Take Call it as it resonates during the past few years. And the lovers is now giving you is there to say that now you have a sense of harmony are you there completely yet maybe not but you're at that end of that deep deep realignment of you know what is important for you and how you are uh, making a difference in this world making sense of yourself making sense of your mind and and your values right and now this is bringing harmony to your energy to yourself to your well-being to your mind balancing out your mind having a clear view or almost a clear view of where you want where you where you situate yourself on your path and also how you are now going to recreate this new you this new scorpio you already did but now it is about showing the world and going out there representing in a different way this has changed you the past couple of years or even more has changed you your priorities your point of view your energy your mindset you are not the same person scorpio and and if this is the first time you are watching any of my readings and you feel you connect already with the readings you might want to check out the money and career readings or some of the energy readings i have actually done for scorpio if you're interested because it has been a journey and we have the three of wands opening up to the world finally right opening up to the world um it's progress forward expansion you have foresight you you might be traveling right it's the opportunity to open up now you're seeing you're finally seeing the world again you haven't seen it in a long time you've been in hermit mode you've been in uh, you know it might not be for everybody but for more most scorpios that have connected to my readings it seems like it has been quite a journey and I think you're still a little bit in hermit mode, uh, sort of cloistering yourself because that is what you need to figure things out, what you need to transform to make changes and really to understand what this is all made of, why, why it was so difficult, why this transition is the transition of the transitions. Now it goes for all signs, but Scorpio has had it. I mean, I think Capricorn as well and maybe Libra but but Scorpio has it, such a depth in the meaning of life such a depth in the meaning of um transformation and the connection with your spirit with your mental and how you are pushed in the universe um in a completely transformed spirit if that makes sense so now you have to adapt to that renewed outside world because the outside world and the universe is, has changed as well and you know that and you had to adapt you had to adapt to a new flow and as i say in most of my readings and then we'll pull more cards this is like the third the third wave of adaptation to the new us to the new world um as the world changed and shifted and from from chaos to uncertainty to um curiosity and going back out there and seeing what it's all about and sort of adapting with what we had and now it's like that third wave of well now we understand what is out there do we want it mm? uh is that what we want it maybe not right but that is what we have that those are the cards we're dealt so now it's up to us to be creative, to create ourselves in a manner where we exploit, and I, when I say exploit, I mean it in a beautiful way, exploit our powers in this new 
energy out there because it's different. So not only we're adapting, but we're, we're past the adapting stage. We already adapted in somewhat shape or form, new jobs, different jobs, moving, moving cities, um, uh, figuring life out, um, moving close to families, reuniting with families, or just working in a different way, making money in a different way. It, it's really about everyone adapting to the situation with what they have, with what you have, right? And now we have reached the stage where we have to open up and be creative and be powerful now. Invent ourselves, rebuild ourselves, reinvent. Re it's a rebirth of our power in the new universe energies, if that makes sense. Yes, enjoying Three of Cups. It's opening up. It's progress forward, it's, it's expansion, but it's like the new opportunities, it's foresight. It's that new opportunities to opportunities arising now, where now you can maybe pick and choose, maybe not yet, but you know there are opportunities out there and you know you are approaching them in a different way because you're a new person, you're not the same. So, you know, many of us, I see us as a collective. Again, many of us have reinvented our careers, reinvented our lives, moved. Uh, we're doing something completely different, right? We had to be, uh, we had to adapt. Well, now we're going to adapt, but do our own thing. Understand the energy and now create our own thing, our power, our universe. Put ourselves out there and be intelligent and be sharp and focused in understanding, and Scorpio, you can do that, in understanding the new energies, learning about these new energies, and capturing them, and making them your own, for your own powerful moment, powerful situation, to make the best of it, and just, you know, launch yourself in the universe, and be powerful. Shine your light, Scorpio, shine your light. Three of Cups is enjoying, right? Learning to enjoy again, learning to see the sun and the colors again. It's about celebrating, celebrating friendship, celebrating your creativity, celebrating collaboration, you know, um, um, meeting people, going back out again and, and um, reinventing yourself, believing in yourself and understanding how you can create with these new vibrations and new new energies. It is a huge turnaround. It is a huge job, I wanna say, but Scorpio, you are the number one to be able to do that. Five of Pentacles, yes, you felt left out. Yes, you felt left out and you've felt left out for a long time, Scorpio, trying to figure this out. This has been complicated and I feel, I feel like you're still in semi left out mode. Now, you haven't been left out, even if that sense, it's the sense that you felt and left out from your path. Before the world situation, you were probably on a path and powerful and, and excited and with a passionate job or passionate project or passionate life, you know, and then, you know, sort of swept off, you know, or wiped off the planet all of a sudden, you know, with the world situation and you felt sort of isolated, like everyone, of course, millions of people on the planet, and my heart goes out to everyone, how it is very complicated, and some people are in denial and feel like they're perfectly fine, and others have felt it extremely deep and complicated to readapt to the, um, the new energies of the world, the new energies of the universe, right? But you you are powerful, Queen of Pentacles. You are very powerful. You are very capable. And you are capable of making money in a different way. But the difference between before and now, because I'm going to take the Queen of Pentacles as, um, as your power now, and we'll pull more cards, that you, now you are aligning or you're out there, your energies are much more nurturing, much more practical. And you are, you are a provider now, you are a financial provider now, and you're nurturing this way through, you're much more nurturing, and you're much more empathic. And now you've always been empathic, but now you're, 
your goal in life is to be there to understand others to connect with others it doesn't mean that you have to be in a job that you know that it nurtures and guides as coach or therapist or you know social justice or nurse or teacher it doesn't have to be that it is you and your soul that has realigned to the things that are important for you and i have a new motto now there are nothing is important unless it's important to you don't sweat this the small stuff because life is in such a turmoil now that the fact that you have so much clarity Scorpio that even if you feel things are a little um, in the gray zone sometimes just know that you have that amazing clarity of the world that is why you get you you feel isolated because a lot of people just go on a day-to-day -day basis with absolutely no clarity, just take whatever it is, do whatever there is they can do uh, without projecting any change, without projecting any mental change to adapt and power through. Okay, <laughs> let's see. There we go with the hermit. Yes, absolutely. And I think you're still in hermit mode, but but uh, Scorpio, you are always in hermit mode. You are always in, sur in soul search. I don't think you're ever not in soul search because the depth of your understanding of these powerful shifts, powerful transformations has put you in this hermit mode. Um, there is no other way for Scorpio to move forward, to understand what they're made of and what the transformations of your energies to adapt to the transformation of the world energies, right? To be able to create, to be able to be powerful again and connect with your soul path, to connect with your life path and your life purpose again. That is how you transform. And look at this, Ten of Pentacles. You're finding your way. And you're finding your way in a completely different energy than compared to the, you know, before the world situation. And I think most people are, but you have transcended. I mean, but it has taken a while. It has taken a couple of years for you to even understand what was going on and how you, how and what you had to do and how you could do it. And what was, what was this even all about? right and why was it so difficult and why why were you in that uh, lost in translation for such a long time here you are liberated liberated still feeling out of sync still feeling comment down below anybody that feels out of sync still with sometimes conversations with people that that are disconnected or just not feeling on the same planet or not feeling you went through the same thing or not feeling you have those same energies right and that same transformation or that same you know loss in translation situation a lot of people do not feel that or they don't feel the same thing so comment down below ten of pentacles here you are in a beautiful beautiful situation coming out of these couple of years of transformation deep deep uh, philosophy transformation you're not seeing the world the same way you don't have the same desires you're not working the same way you don't see people the same way and your priorities are not the same your, your view of the world is not the same so of course what you're creating now this next chapter in your on your life path and your soul path is just completely um, completely disconnected from your from who you were before it is you're not the same so the fact that you have to reinvent yourself like many other people but for you it is the reinvention of your soul the reinvention of your powers of connecting to the world it's very soulful very soulful and and so deep um that is amazing to know that souls and people can transform and transcend in such a powerful way in such a beautiful way scorpio ten of pentacles absolutely amazing and you are 
transforming things little by little and you have reinvented yourself little by little finding creative modes finding solutions but also finding your way to financial security to long-term financial security by con con contributing to the world by doing something necessary by doing something important for you maybe helping others guiding others doesn't have to be that but it is your soul search that is guiding you to be uh, much more connected to others much more connected to others in a practical way as well uh, scorpio is always connected to others you you have a deep understanding you have uh, deep intuition there's sort of that automatic intuition that kicks in to you know feel the vibe feel the vibe of people of situations of mentals of spirituality but here it's about you connecting to your soul and reinventing yourself to be that person if that makes sense yes strength you're in control you're in control but it's 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 powerful you you've tamed yourself wow you have tamed yourself strength um you have transformed yourself and tamed yourself with courage and persuasion persuasion that's hard to say you 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 have compassion but you also now have influence on this path influence on others but in a way in a completely different way than you had before for example uh maybe now you're doing tarot cards maybe now you're doing coaching maybe now you're doing spiritual sessions maybe now you are um a therapist right um all these are soul soul connections to help the world to heal the world i almost think that you scorpio your lesson your journey in this whole transition and transformation is to help heal the world taming the beast taming yourself but taming the beast yes from all the disappointments and for all the misunderstandings and all the regrets and and uh situations family situations soul situations friendships workshops it's it's about understanding that all these disappointments you are taming these disappointments all the negatives in your mind all the difficult situations in your mind whether it be a family situation difficulties uh with with you know siblings or parents or you know people you have to care for or family dynamics or friend dynamics or career dynamics it is all these disappointments and and these negative um energies that you had to channel over and over and over again and and that is pre-world situation your power you you your power pre-world situation was absorb it was about absorbing other people's negative energies to uh empower yourself right now this whole lesson and transformation and spiritual and mindful transformation soul transformation scorpio is about you um sharing positive energies um um how can i say this blowing blowing um uh connecting with powerful um positive energies you're breathing that's what i wanted to say you're breathing positive energies you're no longer um inhaling negative energies to exhale positive energies you are now inhaling positive to exhale positive wow let's see if there are a few more cards that want to come out in the spiritual reading uh, please comment down below let me know if you enjoy this let me know if you connect with this if you find this helpful or necessary and you would like to hear more inhale positive 
exhale positive. You are uniquely positive energies now. What is important is important for you. No longer taking other people's energies to believe it's for you or to help others and absorb negative. You are completely positive energies now. Yes, absolutely, the Empress. You're the Empress. Understanding, empathy, um, creating, but creating positive with positive, um, sharing, guiding, being there for others. You want to be there for others. You want to share what your, your experience in the last couple of years, this transition, this journey in the last couple of years, you want to share it now. You want to share your wisdom. You want to share your power. And if you're not there yet, Scorpio, do not worry. You're there. You're almost there. So if you're questioning, if it's still difficult, if you're still trying to figure it out, where am I going? Is this the right path? Am I going in the right direction? How am I reinventing myself? How am I finding my new powers, right? How am I finding that creativity to put myself out there on and be necessary for the world? You are showing the world the way to reconnect. So yes, there's a disconnect now, right? If you're connecting with people, speaking with people, you might not always feel on the same, in the same planet. But just know that you are the one with the impulse to understand. You're the first one to understand how the revelations and how necessary these transitions were, how necessary this transfer transformation is. You're the one that will have the clarity first. As a lot of people are still not even knowing the repercussions or the uh, the result the powerful the power of this transformation king of cups finding your balance creating and finding your balance king you have queen of pentacles queen of wands and king of cups which is you know you are nurturing providing but it's like um, working with clarity. Sometimes you're still disconnected. Sometimes you're still doubting. And what is this all about? Am I, am I doing the right thing? My choices seem a little odd still because, you know, I feel different from others. And is this, you know, am I really going to do this? Am I really going to coach? Or am I really going to be a spiritual advisor? Am I really going to become a tarot reader? Am I reading, you know, something like that. Something with empathy and a lot of awareness and spirituality. And um, so whatever it means for you, and it doesn't mean everybody's going to be that, but what you are becoming, what you will become is what you connect with, which is very empathic. However it reveals for you, it doesn't matter. It's this is about you finding you. And so you have the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, and 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 then you have the King of Cups. So it's all about finding your balance, revealing, revealing your soul, stable, compassionate, diplomat. This is not something that Scorpio really is diplomat, right? You are becoming that person that not only reliable, of course, you are always reliable, Scorpio, but now you're sort of entering a phase of courage and confidence and independence, financial independence, social independence, determination to find that balance, um, and that new power. These three are very important. You have all three together. The wands, right? That is that confidence, that courage, that independence to, and that determination to build, to absorb, and to recreate yourself out in, out with the new energies. And then 
And then the Queen of Wands is sort of that social butterfly. She knows how to transform things. She knows how to create. You're going to go back out there, Scorpio. You're going to, and I've said it since the beginning. So check out my readings if you want the money and career readings. You're almost there, Scorpio. Up, up there in your pedestal, but in a powerful pedestal, shining your light, guiding the world, really. All right, let's see if they're... There's one last message for the road. I'm going to take this because we're already at 30 minutes. Please comment down below. This is new. This is a new reading. I'm going to try to do these for all, all signs this week, as well as the money and career monthlies. And I'll try the weeklies. I don't know. We'll see. I'll definitely get out, get the August monthly money and careers out. But let's finish this spiritual guidance reading. Yes, refreshed. Refreshed renewed, inspired, inspired about new ideas. You're discovering the world. You're discovering that it's limitless. If you were limited before the world situation, you know you have so much more potential. And, and it's like this free spirit time, this free um, ideas, free of the world. And now you can create ways to um, be financially independent and free spirited. You've always been, but now you're opening up to a whole new dimension. Let's see if there's one more card that wants to come out in this spiritual guidance reading. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, as I said, I think the tower has come up in every single scorpio reading so why would this be any different than any other reading uh but here you are in all your glory the rebirth right the rebirth of your power the rebirth of your spirit of your mind of your path knowing now comforted that you are on the path that you that you are you know you are the guiding light of this transformation you're the one and this this tower is that tower moment within the tower moment constantly uh scorpio you've had the tower in every single reading which just says that it is it has been a continuous spark every day more clarity every day the renewal of that, you know, that thing that puts everything into perspective and, and more clarity and more clarity in figuring things out and getting to that moment where you feel you and you feel that now you have transformed. It is a rebirth. It is an inner calling and absolution. Absolutely brilliant reading, Scorpio. Let me know, Scorpio pave the way. Let me know uh, if you enjoy this reading. I'm going to try to do one for every sign. Comment down below. If you haven't subscribed yet and you have enjoyed this reading or felt you connected with it in some way, shape, or form, share it, comment, subscribe. Uh, I've just re reached 15k, so let's push it to 20k uh, with these spiritual readings. Thank you so much for watching, uh, and I will see you next up for the uh, Money and Career monthly readings for the month of August. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great week. Take care. Bye-bye.